action and boy more things move um the the more glitches there are but don't worry i'll have it all hammered out for tonight for tomorrow's uh surprise that i'll be talking about later so uh welcome everyone and i want to know do you have what it takes to be a designer maybe you ask yourself that you know do you already have enough do you have what it takes to be a designer um not just any interior designer or decorator but a successful interior designer decorator I mean, do you have what it takes we're going to answer that today um we're also going to talk about if you love design is it for you can anyone be a designer yes I mean, we are born this way, right? This is a passion that's in us. I bet you could spend hours on Pinterest looking at beautiful rooms and don't get me started on house. <laughs> house is a whole new time waster. Um, and you think, you know, I could do that. I could do that. I could, I could create that. That's beautiful. I would have done that or I would have done it better. Well, so why aren't you? Why aren't you doing that? I mean, maybe you've taken some design classes or you have a degree, but... You're afraid you just don't have enough experience to run your own business, and I get that. I mean, that is an absolute truth, and I'll touch on that in a little bit, but not having enough experience is actually a real fear. Um, design school does not always prepare you for uh, actually making a money, you know, making a living as a designer. Sorry about that. Um, you know, it also might be that you've tried to get your dream business going right but it's been one disappointment after another and now you're ready to give up you know I hate to say it but by the time people really call me and reach out to me they're at this point they're to the point where they've tried everything and they just don't know where else to turn they're ready to give up and it's absolutely heartbreaking to me um, so let me ask you what's your excuse why aren't you designing for a living if you have this passion is it that fear is it you're afraid to take the leap. You're afraid to go out there. You're afraid no one will like your designs. Well, we're going to get to the bottom of that and solve that problem today. I'm going to share with you today why some designers are thriving. They're designing these beautiful spaces you see in magazines and on house for ecstatic clients who trust them. That's really important. And buy everything they present. I mean, while other designers fail miserably and have to give up on their dream. Uh, I'm going to tell you really quickly... Um, a designer that I've been working with recently really closely and you know we have a really uh, we have a one-on-one -on -one relationship where we're, we're coaching and um, I won't mention her name because I don't want her to be embarrassed but when she first came to me she had taken the boot camp she loved it she got a lot out of it great success and then about four months later I guess or five months later she called me and she was crying she burst into tears and it broke my heart she had a degree in design. She'd taken the boot camp. She'd gone out there and she'd started to, to work on it, but something was missing. There was something that she wasn't quite getting. She couldn't figure that out. So she called me, Chelsea, what can I do? How can I help? So we have been working on this and I'm proud to say she's doing great now. Um, she's got numerous clients. It's, that's, uh, that's another story I'll get into. But right now, what I'm, what I'm trying to get to you is that, that you might be the only thing holding you back. I mean, again, if you've got the love, the passion, I can teach you how to do the other. I can teach you how to make money, how to get clients, how to be happy, set your own schedule. You might be the only thing that's stopping you from that. So I want you to understand first and foremost, it is not your fault. All right, design school does not prepare you to build your own business or to work for yourself. When I went through design school and I had my degree, um, a four-year degree, they taught us to work for an architectural firm or, or a design firm where we would draft and the first three years we're going to be just taking care of the resource library and they never really addressed working for yourself but that's why I got into this business I decided to go to design school because I loved creating beautiful rooms I was obsessed with with design and yet I wanted to be a mom and a wife and I wanted to be able to work out of my house and um, I wanted to be able to travel and do all of those things so I didn't want to learn how to go work for an architectural firm. I mean, I, I thought, it, you know, it, you realize that they don't teach you anything else. So you get out thinking, well, that's all I can do. The other reason that it's not your fault is, um, and this is going to be really controversial, and I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for this, but they say if you're not ruffling some feathers, you're not doing doing it right. So 
our industry, the interior design industry, they use fear tactics and guilt to discourage people from going out on their own. They really do. They say if you don't have the ASID certification and the taking the NCIDQ exam and you don't have a four-year degree from an accredited school, you haven't worked for two to three years under an ASID accredited designer and that, that you don't deserve to design for a living. Well, I'm sorry, that's that's wrong. That's that's crap. I'm sorry. Most designers won't tell you the truth, but I'm not afraid. All right. I am going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you exactly how easy it can be and how to do that. Right. Doesn't that sound great? So who am I? Right. I am um, Chelsea Coriel. I am one of the most positive people you'll ever meet. I am here to teach you that there is a way to do this. So you can get all of those things that I that I said, right? I want you to build a better design business, not the way the industry teaches, not the way schools teach. I want you to work smart and to plan for your future, to really have a great business. That's what I'm all about. That's what I'm here to teach. There's a better way to design than other people have taught you. Um, like I said, I'm Chelsea Coriel. There I am, my shiny face. And just to give you an idea, um, these are some of the free marketing pieces that I've had. I've been in um, the newspaper that did that, you know, that entire uh, section, the center section that you get, the parade or homes. Um, they did an entire feature of my house. I was in a home and garden show featured up on stage with Kitty Bartholomew. I don't know uh, who remembers that. But we designed an entire house in a day and it was all done by me. They wrote articles about it. I gave speeches. Um, I've been an in-house designer for numerous stores. I've spoken at Market, giving my talks on sales. You've probably seen my YouTube videos. Now I'm doing seminars. I even did a, a cruise. And I just got an award as the best interior designer in my county. So um, that was a big surprise. But how did I do it? Right? What, what am I doing that's different than what other designers are doing? These, these people who are sad and, and are giving up on their dream. Well, first of all, I'm going to make it really simple. Right up front, I, I follow a system. I'm going to talk a lot about that. I'm also going to teach you how to make your own system. But I follow a system very, very formulaic. How I get my clients, how I work with my clients, how I close them. It's all a system. The way I came up with this system, by working with, beside, learning from, absorbing from successful six-figure designers. Then I managed groups of young designers and coached them and mentored them and brought them up to where they could be six-figure designers. So what I teach, this isn't just what I learned in school. This isn't any of that. This is proven experience. I have worked with hundreds of clients. Back in, I think it was 2005, I had, I had stopped counting it at over 300 clients. All right, I've, I've done this. I've seen it all. I've been doing this for more than 23 years. I've been a designer. I've designed for a living all over the country. And I'm here to tell you, it doesn't matter where you live, it, really in the world. Um, I've now been helping designers be successful, South Africa, Australia, Spain, the Netherlands, um, lots in the UK, New Zealand, uh, all over. But there are a few things that really hold true. There are a few facts, a few constants that never change. And this, th this is exactly what I teach. What other people teach and what you, you know, if you've been to design school or if you've taken some courses, um, you know, when you first start out, you, you have this idea, this image of what a designer should be, right? Of what your design business would be. That's what we all start with. Oh, it's going to be beautiful and I'm going to create, you know, these beautiful floor plans and the clients and oh, it's so picturesque. But that's not real life, okay? I teach real life designing, right? They don't teach this in design school. I wish they did. Um, I've actually had a few people say, can't you go talk to some design schools and, and convince them to teach this but but again our industry really does run on with fear tactics and guilt and I'm trying to break that cycle so again if you're listening to me and I'm a really positive person hopefully you'll you'll be on board and you'll help me I'm going to change the face of design it's only going to help all of us but they don't teach this in design school what I have learned is that there is a science to this like I said I follow a system and when you're, when you're dealing with science, you know, you start with an idea, you say, okay, maybe it'll work this way. And then you watch, you record, then you adjust if something didn't work. You have to test your theories. You have to create rules and laws based on your findings. I mean, that's what a science is. 
And that's what I've been doing for the last 23 years. I've, because I started so young and right out of the gate, my first day out of design school, went and worked at you know, a wonderful design store where I was surrounded by these amazing, really creative, successful designers. And they taught me and I absorbed. I absorbed everything. I learned from them. I asked questions. I watched how they did certain things, little nuances. And within the second month, I became the top salesperson for that. It, it was a big design store. They, they're not around anymore, but uh, it was pretty pr- impressive. Everything was completely custom down to you know, the shape of everything, every piece of furniture. We constructed our own furniture. We had full design. Um, you know, anything you could think of, we did. Second month in, I was 21 years old, and I became the top salesperson in the country out of 81 stores. Each store had about five designers in it, so you do the math. That's not my strong point, <laughs> but you get the idea. Um, and again, I wanted to be able to travel, so when I married someone in the Navy, we moved to Austin, and I went to work for the same company. Boom, same month. You know, right then, as soon as I started, top sales. I blew all of their records out. They they had, used to have their their top sales awards, and the first month I got there, I doubled their highest benchmark. You know, kept doing this month after month across the country, and I sort of became a little um, you know mini celebrity within the company, and got to go meet the owners, and uh, they would take me to to big national sales meetings and things. So I really again got to see behind the scenes. I got to watch, to listen. I got to test out the theories. I got to to go back to my own office and work with clients and see what worked and then tweak it. And all along I was creating rules and I was creating laws for these things. So one of the most important things I can teach you right out of the gate is learn from your experiences. So good or bad, right? You need to learn from them, tweak them, change them, create a system that's going to work for you. It's like those old commercials for the shampoo, um, you know, shampoo, rinse, repeat. <laughs> you find what works and you repeat it. If something didn't work, tweak it. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> so all of these years have allowed me to be here today with you. More than 23 years in, in this amazing profession. I've worked with six different extremely successful design groups like the stores that I talked about I've had six of my own independent design businesses and I have trained and mentored groups of designers across the country and now across the world um, some people do ask me why I have had six of my own design businesses if they're so successful why have I had six well like I said I married someone in the Navy and we move sometimes every three months um, so every time we'd pick up and move I would start my business again and when we were going to be there for more, I only counted the six out of when we were going to be there for more um, than a year. But I've been there. I've done it. That's why I feel confident that I know how to do it better, that there's a better way to build a design business. You, you, you come along for the ride here and I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. It was a few years ago, um, actually I was working in San Diego and I made over $100,000 that year. I didn't spend a dime on marketing. I only worked part-time out of my home. I got to handpick my clients because I wasn't going to work with pain in the butt, high maintenance people. I set my own hours and it was all from word of mouth, from happy clients. Um, And I made enough money that, you know, for once I was taking my family on vacations. You know, my husband has always provided for us. But this is the chance that, I mean, I got to take them on a 14-day cruise through the Mediterranean. I took my kids through Italy and France and Spain. It was amazing. But that's because of my business, my design business. This is real-life designing, like I said. I'm I'm not talking about what they teach you in school. If you want to make real money, you don't want to be stressed all the time. You'll hear that from people. I I don't teach the, the hard way. And you want to be in control of your future. That's what I'm what I'm talking about here. You need to to listen and to grow and to watch people around you learning from your mistakes, right? I have been a teacher, I've been an observer, I've been a mentor, I've had success. And now, <laughs> my little graphic, I want to share that, right? I want to I want to help change the design industry. I want to help switch us from this cold, fear, guilt-ridden society 
and move to where we're sharing and we're growing with each other and we're helping each other lift each other up to do it right to have this great career that we've dreamed of that's what you're here for today that's what I'm all about I'm spreading the word we're creating a different kind of designer and I want to give you a little peek into some of the ways that I've done it and the things that I wanted to talk to you about today the three three ways that you can build a better design business like I said it comes from having a formulaic system for me I have to start with a solid foundation every time I've moved I start with that foundation whether it's finding my resources whatever it is I already have my system in place I know how I'm gonna work with my clients I have my tools that I always go to that I use as part of that system I have a very unique psychology when it comes to working with my design clients and I have fun with it I don't take it too seriously doesn't that sound great <laughs> I mean all of this these are the building blocks this is what it takes to have that great successful design business so let's jump right in with that step number one because um, I talk a lot about this it's the, the foundation building your foundation for that great design business that you dream of um, this can look different for other people every design business is going to be a little different so I always start with some basic questions do you like to help people there's a big misconception about what design is, right? We focus on the creating beautiful spaces and we're going to be in magazines, we're going to be on HGTV, but at the heart of it, you have to like to help people. That's what we're here for. We have a service industry. We are here to create beautiful spaces for other people. I really always hit that home because, again, we're creating different kinds of designers, better design. This is heart-centered design. So you have to know that you, you love to help people, that you're willing to help people. You also have to have a passion for design. The reason I say that is, you know, I've worked with some people that just get in and they like the idea of being a designer, but when they really got into it, they couldn't cut it because they couldn't spend hours looking at house and Pinterest. I mean, they might like just, you know, pinning some things and, oh, it's fun to look through magazines. But if you have a passion for design, you know it. I, I after 23 years of doing this and I actually almost 45 years of my life I still never get tired of looking at furniture I never get tired of looking at design magazines my heart still races when the Pottery Barn catalog comes in that's what I'm talking about you have to have a passion for design because this is not an easy industry this is a tough industry and it is a service industry you have to deal with with difficult people sometimes and you know problems and headaches and things getting backordered and damaged and that's just part of our industry so you gotta really love design so if you can say that you do, great. You're already set up for your foundation. Um, the next part is you have to be willing to commit to building a strong and successful business of your own. Um, let me give you a little example. Uh, I was working one-on-one -on -one with a, a client down in San Diego. This was a few years ago. She's a designer that had been designing for years. She'd worked at architectural firms, though, and, and for builders. And the economy crashed in 2008, and she had to go out on her on her own for the first time and so we were working as a one-on-one -on -one cashmere level that's what my one-on-one -on -one clients are and um, we created this great game plan we had this big five-hour Skype session it was fantastic and after about six weeks she hadn't been making much progress and she was getting really frustrated and it occurred to both of us that we were creating this dream business of hers but she was jumping ahead to doing the things that she wanted to do. She was spending more time with her family and she was only working a few hours a week. And I mean, that's the business we were creating, but you still got to build it at the beginning. You still have to build the house you're going to live in. So you have to be ready to commit up front. Are you ready to build a strong and successful business of your own? I can get you there. I can, I can get you to that business, but you have to be able to, to build. You got to put in the time up front. That's really important. The other part about your foundation, um, before you even look at vendors or, or working with, with anyone, you have to have all of this in your mind. You know, what are your strengths? Are you a people person? Are you better with corporations? Um, are, you, are you a touchy-feely, you want to do feng shui? Are you um, really good at floor plans and structural? And I mean, you have to know your strengths. 
I want you to be honest with your experience as well. Again, I can teach anyone if you have the passion and the, the drive, but that doesn't mean you're going to be making 100000 the first year. I want you to be honest with your experience and starting from, from you know, where you are now. Um, you have to have an open mind to who, what, and where. I run into this a lot, and most people think right out of the bat they're going to be doing huge skyscrapers and penthouses and in the magazines and you know that's not always the case especially based on experience if you're just starting out and your strengths you may not have that kind of experience but have an open mind with who and what kind of design you want to do redesign um, full remodels you know really know those things in your heart and where do you want to design is it in your hometown is it in your neighborhood is it in a bigger city is it you know virtually through through um, internet design all of these are questions you need to be asking yourself to build your foundation so you start with the basics right you start with the basics and you work on your business not in it and I say this a lot people get once they get started and they're building it and they're they're in it and they're so caught up in what they're doing they forget to step back and look at the business as a whole you are creating a foundation you're creating this design business so you have to step back and work on your business sometimes you have to look at it from you know different eyes the other thing that's really important with your foundation um, is where are you going? I ask this all the time, you know, and it always surprises people. But you need to set your goals from where you are now. Again, you, you know, if you just graduated from design school and you're young, fresh, you know, do-eyed, you're probably not going to be designing in the Trump Tower. But you can be helping people in your local town redesign. You can help staging. There, there are so many things you can do each step of the way. And we'll get you to the big high rises if that's where you want to go. But start from where you are now and just take the one step. That's really important. Think about what goals you can set for tomorrow, next week, and then the next month. And write them down. This is a really big tip. We think about them all the time and we worry and we stress or we get excited. But until you put them on paper, it's never going to become a reality. You need to be setting your goals. What am I going to do tomorrow? To move my business forward what what can I have done by next week that'll take me even one step further and then next month am I gonna have a new client am I gonna have three clients what am I gonna be doing by next month maybe you just have a new vendor list but start from where you are now another question is who is helping you along your journey you know I always say how do you get to a finish line if you don't know where it is if you don't know what it looks like you know if you don't know how you're gonna get there are we running are we bicycling are we swimming you have to know these things. You have to have people helping you. You have to have this really clear picture of what your goal is. Now that may seem like a really simplistic uh, idea of a foundation for your business, but I promise you, I've seen too many designers jump in and miss this simple little step and they crash head first. So that is really the, the number one thing you need to do. Write it down, put it on paper, get it out in front of you. Now, I will say, guys, as we go through, and I've got the three, um, the three steps, I'm also going to be announcing a really big surprise at the end. I've got another free um, webinar. I've got a, an amazing new um, design studio that I'm going to talk about. So hang in there, all right? We're, we're going to get through this, and I, I can't wait to share with you. I get a little excited because I move um, forward too fast. All right. Step two is finding great people finding clients right that's kind of important this is all I want you to understand people need your help you have a gift to share that they don't you just need to help them find you it really is that easy people are everywhere I mean can't you think about think about if you went and asked a hundred people in your town if you went to Starbucks if you went to um, you know your kids school if you if you asked a hundred people so do you love your house is your interior do you, do you like is it is it good enough are you happy with it with your interior I guarantee you 98 people out of that hundred will say no Ugh, I'm miserable I've tried everything I've spent so much money I've wasted you know I just I don't know what to do it is that simple as soon as you wrap your head around I'm going to go back to this. Um, people need your help. 
I'm not good at everything. Obviously, getting my videos up in time, not my strong point. <laughs> the technical side of it. I do okay, but wouldn't it be great if I had someone that did this for me? <laughs> that would be awesome. I'm trying to train my son, but we're, we're not there yet. Um, so people need your help. All right. If you look at those houses and say, I could do that. You probably walk into someone's room at someone's house and say, I know exactly what to do. All right. Well, they don't. That's really upsetting to them. That's something that causes them stress. You have this gift. You can help them. You just got to find those people. Help them find you. And then charge for your services. <laughs> so um, let's go back. Next slide. Next slide. What I want you to understand is you're connecting with your ideal client. When you set out those goals in that foundation, I want you to think about who is my ideal client? What do they look like? Where are they? How much money would they spend? What style? That's going to be your ideal client. You can even give them a name. You know, Mrs. Smith, Betty. Um, that's your ideal client. So you just need to be connecting with your ideal client. If you want to work with corporate types, you're not going to look at, you know, your kid's preschool. If you want to work with um, homemakers and, and, you know, families, then yeah, that'd be great. Or a mommy and me class. You know, if you want to do corporate, big, you need to be out at networking groups. You need to be out in the community interacting with professionals. So where are your ideal clients? Um, who do you know? This is a really simple one. Who do you know? Every time I start with a brand new designer and we're just, you know, out of the gate, they just want, you know, one tip. Can you just help me get a new client? So you know what? I want you to go onto Facebook. I know Facebook drives me crazy. But I want you to go onto Facebook and I want you to just post. Hi, everyone. I am really working hard at building my new interior design business. I would love your help. If you know anyone that would like their house done or, or even just a little help, some advice, could you please pass on my name? Could you please help me? Now, here's a little asterisk. See how I said, will you help me? I didn't get on there and say, does anyone need help? I got on asking my friends, hey, I'm really passionate about my new design business. If you know anyone that would need help, could you please share my, my information with them? I cannot tell you how many times designers came back and said, God, that was really easy. Like it worked. I have three new clients. <laughs> I know. People want to help, right? We want to get out there and help. Here's another uh, great story. Uh, Paula, who is a designer that I'll actually have on a video tomorrow, um, she's incredibly successful. I'm so proud of her. She's, you know, she's killing it. Six figures, great design team, and I, I don't want to give too much away, but um, I recently went down and helped her, and I asked her, okay, where are you, these big clients you're showing me, these, you know, couple hundred thousand dollar projects, um, and, and uh, let me say 70,000 of that was her profit, a little asterisk there, um, where did you find this client? And she said, oh, well, my husband is an IT specialist, and he was in a house um, hooking up some, you know, high tech, um, you know, electronics, and they started complaining about their designer. And he said, well, you know, my wife's a designer. That's how she got this big project. It's just that simple. So just spread the word. There's no, there's no big mystery here. Spread the word about what you do, about your passion. And give, give, give. If your dentist has a horrible lobby, you could just casually mention, you know, I'm a, I'm an interior designer. And I'm really trying to build my business. I'd love to do a quick remodel, you know, like like a, a redesign of your office, just maybe changing up the the space plan, and I can rehang some pictures. Maybe even suggest a new paint color. I'd love to do that if you'll just, you know, hand out my cards or share share my talent or let people know that I was the one that helped. I mean, that's just a, a simple example. But the more you can give the more it's going to come back to you. It sounds like a cliche, but it's absolutely true over and over again. Um, and you need to interact. You know how many designers I talk to and I'll say, well, what have you been doing? What have you, you know, what have you done to get clients? What have you done to build your business? Well, I've spent, you know, so many hours on Facebook. I've spent so many hours on Twitter. I've spent so many, they've been behind their computer. Well, I'm sorry, but clients aren't, that are frustrated with their house, they're not at home looking at Facebook, is there any of my friends or anyone that's talking about, no, they're out shopping. They're out 
you know, with their friends complaining about their ugly house. They're at Home Depot looking at paint colors and almost crying in the paint aisle. <laughs> All right, so get out there. Just get out there and interact. I promise you guys, again, that seems really simple. I want to hear your success stories. I want you guys, anyone that took any of this advice, let me know because I want to hear. It's really that easy. You're going to be blown away. All right, step three, plan to grow. Now, again, it seems like a very simple, right? But I want to ask you a few things. You, you have to plan again for the future. You're starting where you are now. Your steps are little. But you have to know what you're going to say when a potential client calls. You have to have a system. So you know when you get to the, to the house, what are you going to say? What are you going to do first? Are you taking measurements? Are you taking pictures? Are you moving things? Um, because you got to keep your clients on track. Otherwise, they'll have you all over the place asking you questions. They're really just fishing for free advice. And that's just a waste of your time. Again, I get a lot of designers that call me at that point where, you know, I spent three hours at her house and she didn't buy anything. Well, <laughs> it's because you weren't on track. You, you didn't have a system in place. Um, you've got to have a letter of agreement, a contract to pr- protect yourself financially and mentally. You know, my, my contract and letter of agreement has so many little um, caveats that are only for the design industry. Trust me, they're there for a reason. It's something that I've come across and have been bit by and I'm never going to let it happen again. Um, you need to control your client's expectations. They have to know if you're just starting out that you can't tell them to knock down walls. They have to know, you know, that that maybe, um, you know, window treatments aren't your specialty, but you have someone that can help with that. I mean, you just have to control the expectations. They have to know you, you if you're ordering new furniture, they can't have it done by next weekend. How much it's going to cost, the budget, you know, how you're going to collect um, your money. You need to know how you're going to collect your money. Are you taking checks? Do you have a credit card? All of this is part of your plan. So you know how I said write down your goals. Well, you need to write down all of these things too. You can pause this video and write these down. Um, Another part is you need to have a team. You can't do this on your own. You need to have a team on your side. You're going to have to have a contractor. You know, like I said, a window treatment workroom, a painter. Um, You're going to need to know where you're going to get your furniture and accessories. Is it online? Is it retail stores in your area? Is it a design center? Um, you're going to have to be able to buy fabric at a wholesale. That's usually through vendors, either accounts you open or through a design center. Um, you're going to have to know how you're going to charge for your services, right? What that looks like, what services you offer. Um, you're going to have, have to know how to keep track of your sales and your special orders. And who's going to deliver and install? <laughs> have I freaked you out yet? <laughs> All right. Anyone that has already started their design business, you probably don't have all of these checks yet, and you know, but you have to know it, right? I mean, this is stuff you have to know. You have to have a plan for this. You have to know that, yeah, today you don't have a big client that wants a full remodel, but by golly, next week you might. So you have to have this stuff in plan. This is all part of your foundation. I like to call it my system. I have a system. I am definitely a formulaic kind of gal. I like things again I find the best easiest way to do it and I remember that and I do it the same way over and over again I have a system or a blueprint as a designer I like to call it my blueprint this is for my business this is how I'm going to approach clients how I'm going to meet them what I'm going to say to them what packages I offer how I talk to them about pricing how much I'm going to charge is it hourly is it you know all of these things I have it listed out in a system it's step by step you can create the same thing. You answer these questions for yourself. Do some research. Find out what other people in your town are doing. You can have the same kind of thing, right? You've got to have step one. Oh, step one, step two, step three. You have to know, um, you know, what you're going to do, what you're going to say, and, you know, how you really find that finish line at the end. What does that look like? That's that's all part of this. You have to have a, a, a system for yourself. I like to call it the better interior designer. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. I keep saying, learn to build a better interior design business. Well, if you have this system in place, if you know those things ahead of time, you've worked out all those kinks and details, this is going to run so smoothly. I mean, you don't have to spend tons of money on, on marketing. You don't have to drive yourself crazy, you know, searching for the right products and trying to create great designs. And then the time gets away and then the client's off doing something else and they lose interest. And you know, working with ungrateful and snobby clients, I can't stand that. I guess maybe some people would like that, but um, I hate paperwork. 
so I don't teach that I always try to, to cut corners and find the, the least amount of paperwork and I don't want anyone to feel like they just are making enough money to pay the bills I, I try to teach how you really can set up a business so that you're making real income so all of this and and don't worry there, there's so much more that I'm going to teach today there's a lot of training involved in this just again wait I'm so excited to share with you at the end um, but I, I will give you a little hint at, as I go through this in the next couple days I'm going to be talking about um, an interior design success studio I'm going to teach how you really can build a better interior design business and that is my new program it is my new um, website oh my gosh again so excited but it is my new program that takes everything I've taught in the past three programs and the boot camp and it expands upon everything I don't want to just teach you how to set up a basic design business and how to make money as a designer I want to teach you how to make a better interior design business all these things that I brag about I can teach you how to do that so really quickly before I get into more training um, this new program it is a studio and what does that mean well again I'm gonna start from the beginning building your foundations one brick at a time so everything will be step by step you're gonna establish your own business blueprint and success strategy I'm gonna show you how to build that system for yourself because everyone's different I can't just teach one blanket you know system because maybe you're a redesigner or stager um, you know remodel feng shui whatever it is everyone's a little different so I'm gonna teach you how to create your own system um, hold on one back well this is all based on proven actions like I said I didn't make any of this up <laughs> it's all from learning from experience it myself and then helping other designers to succeed and watching what works and what doesn't so in this there's gonna be strategies and techniques like I'm always teaching outlines checklist 24 training videos step by step now that's new I've never done anything this big all of my other programs have been seven videos max but this is going to be 24 training videos each one step by step breaking it down they're going to be specific as you can tell I go through things really quickly and I'm, I'm always throwing a lot of information out there and not everyone understands what I'm really what's really important what you should remember and write down and what you don't so these are going to be really more specific than I've ever been. It's going to be, you know, say this, not that. Do this, not that. And I'll tell you why, right? And, and the obstacles that you're going to run into if you don't do it right. Um, I'm going to take everything that you may have been taught. If you've taken design school or you've tried this already, I'm going to take everything that and, I, and I'm going to make it better. I'm going to teach you why my system is better. Uh and I'll, I'm going to share with some testimonials because I don't want you just to take my word for it. Let's see. I also want you to know in this new program, this is a, this is a really big part of it. I want you to know that we're in this together. I, you know, before I've had the classes, the webinars, the videos, and then you get one mastermind call at the end. Well, I want this one to be different. I really want this to be truly an all-in-one program that you can build your business so remember I've talked about some of my webinar my seminars and even the cruise that we did which was awesome this new program there's going to be mastermind calls continually two a month you can reach out to me we're gonna have all of these these different ways that we can connect with each other that we can work together to lift each other up and to grow our businesses you're gonna be able to ask questions you're gonna be able to share that's a really big component of this new program but that's just the beginning I mean this is different this is different than anything I've ever done before um, it, we're gonna have a twice a month mastermind calls right I'm gonna make sure that those are small groups so even if I have you know a hundred people in the program I'll break down those masterminds to no more than 10 people because I want everyone to give a ch get a chance to um, ask questions and really have personal one-on-one -on -one time with me I think that's really important so you'll have question and answer time um, people will share specific situations and and problems that they've had and how they overcame them and success stories I mean it's always really good to hear what other people are doing that works what other people are doing that that um, you can copy that you can emulate and all of that creates this feeling of connection and the camaraderie I mean that's I really want us to be a group remember that little heart around the, the planet I want us 
to create a new group of designers. We're doing it better. Better. <laughs> I don't know how many times I could say that. So this is just the beginning. I mean, I've been working harder on this than anything else I've ever worked on. I'm really proud of it so far. Um, it is a 12-week course, so that's longer than anything I've done before. Um, like before my videos, and you know, a lot of people like my YouTube videos, so I'm going to do more of that. It isn't just these slides. It's going to be me in video, so you can see the nuances. You can watch the body language. But everything's going to be recorded and transcribed when needed. You know, I give you outlines and checklists. Of course, you're going to get a workbook um, and a binder that everything's going to be able to be put in there to keep your business organized. Um, I always want to share with you my sample contracts and letter of agreements so that you can just tweak them. You just put your name and your logo and your pricing and whatever you need into it and use it for your business. So these are all just templates for you to use. Take them, swipe them, use them. <laughs> um, workroom and communi communication forms, you know, things that I use to communicate with my contractors and builders and window treatments. And I'm going to give it all to you. We're sharing. It's completely transparent. Um, even down to how I keep my projects organized. All of that I'm sharing. You want a sneak peek? You want to see what the new program is going to look like? All right, guys. It's going to be hosted on my web um, on my website, and there's going to be a password protected. Only members are allowed to see it. And I'll give you a really quick look because I'm just working on it. You're going to have you know how-to videos, new things. These are the different modules. You click on each of those modules. There's going to be a, a list of videos behind each one. There's going to be um, posters you can download to keep you on track and for motivation. There's going to be checklists and forms, but you can see some of the topics, you know, building your business from the ground up, the key to interior design success. Those are some of my little secrets, choosing your resources, um, designs your clients are going to love, your house call system, building a team, uh, sketchbook basics, portfolio tips, your mindset, all of it in this one program. You see what I mean? It's, it's a lot of work. <laughs> well, that's enough. I don't want to jump too far ahead. But this one program, all right, we have one goal. I want to help you build the right business, the right way the first time. Okay, it, this is different than anything I've ever done before. This one is going to be better. We're going to build a better design business. So if all of this sounds good, again, hold on, I'm not done with the training. Let me give you one more sneak peek. So like I said, 24 in-depth training webinars. And you'll have them living on the website 24-7, so you always have access. If you can only work in the middle of the night, that's fine. You, know, you get the workbook, you get the forums, the uh, private support groups, the mastermind calls. Access to me, you definitely have more access to me. I'm going to be one-on-one -on -one with people. But here's the really exciting part. At the end of all of it, I have created a certification program. So at the end of it, you will be a certified interior design professional. That's pretty cool, right? You can put the certification. I actually have a big seal that I'm having a graphic artist design. Um, but it'll go on your website. It can go on your business cards. It's going to let your clients know that you are different. You're better than the typical designer, right? This is different for you. All of this is part of this new program. Um, of course, I give my 100% happiness guarantee. And anyone that starts and they're not happy, I. I'm so passionate about that. I always will give you your money back. I, I've only had maybe two people out of the last five years that I've been coaching ask for their money back. Um, and, you know, and that could have been personal reasons. I don't know. But um, I promise I'm here to make this work for you. I want this to be bigger and better. So here's my big surprise. And like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you more training. Tomorrow, how would you like to see one of the modules? I already have it finished. <laughs> How would you like to play around and explore on the membership page? Tomorrow, I am going to post, send you guys the link, um, one of my favorite modules, which was Say This, Not That. Say This, Not That, The Art of Persuasion and Mediation. That means you're going to learn not only what to say, but how I say it. Let me give you a little example. First of all, this is a completely free training tomorrow. This is the actual um, module that will be in the program. So I'm going to give that to you for free. Um, we're here to build a better business. And let me, let me give you a little example of what I mean by better. When I was down in California and I was coaching um, Paula, and by the way, I'm going to, I'm going to release that video tomorrow because it's pretty cool. She shares with some really neat information um, on how she's been so successful. But 
um, it, it was just little things. We were talking about a presentation. We were going with one of her new designers. We were I was training her, and um, she was preparing for a presentation she had that night, and um, she was going through some different options for her client, and first of all, she had way too many options, and so I really talked to her about this designer. I talked to her about, listen, they hired you because you're the professional. Your clients hired you because they can't do this on their own. They need your help. So why would you show them all of these different ideas and get them confused? You're asking them for their advice. But you're here to give them your advice. You were hired for that. So let's say there is a, she's like, well, I'm just not sure in this rug. I just can't. I said, okay. When it comes down to the rug, she said, she said, well, I'm going to show them these three. And I'll say, listen, they all work. Um, but which one do you like? And I said, no, wait a minute. Again, by saying, well, they'll all work. You're telling that client they're all okay. They'll all fit into the design if, if that's what they want. It's such a wishy-washy, weak statement, and you're taking away your expertise. They're taking away your power as the professional they hired, the professional designer. So I said, why not say they'll all work? Why not say they're all beautiful? I wasn't really sure which rug you'd like. Everything else, I have dead set, I, it's going to be gorgeous. But I did want to give you a couple options on the rug. Now, all three of these are gorgeous. They're all going to fit. They're all right in budget. We can have them in by the time, you know, by Christmas. See the difference? <laughs> Just little, little tweaks like that. And you'll hear in the video tomorrow. Nailed it. Um, so tomorrow's training is going to be say this not that it's all of those little tips on how it isn't just what you say but it's how you say it so I will be sending you the link because again you know I can't get this out to everyone but I'm gonna have everything else closed out trust me there'll be padlocks on everything else I am sharing this one training because I really want you guys to get a sense for what this new program is gonna be like again I have one goal in this I want to help you build the right business the right way, a better design business. All right, everyone, let's do this. I will see you tomorrow.